so the next question is with diagram explain four bit ciso register so what is meant by ciso ciso stands for serial in serial out right serial in serial out register so let us design a serial in serial out register using d flip flop okay so how will you uh, draw it is a four bit so you require n bit requests n flip flops right so four bit requests four flip flops so you have to first initially take four d flip flops okay so this will be your four d flip flop which will be having a clock enable signal so the clock enable signal will be connected to a signal which is called as shift okay so this is called as shift shift will be connected to your clock enable and since it is a d flip flop you will be getting input as d d not output as q not d1 q1 d2 q2 d3 q3 right so this will be your serial in serial input or it is taken as si so this will be your serial out what is meant by serial in and serial out the data will be input data will be sent bit by bit similarly output data you will be getting bit by bit serially okay the output of one flip flop previous flip flop will be acting as an input to the next flip flop it goes on so d, d q3 output q3 will be input to your d2 output q2 will be input to your d1 and output q1 will be input to your d0 now you will be having along with this you will be having a clock enable a clock signal so this clock is positive trigger okay positive edge triggered clock so this will be your diagram of your 4 bit ciso register so what is your working principle let me take your case 1 okay case 1 so when shift is equal to 1 and when shift is equal to 0 what happens when shift is equal to 1 what will happen your clock will be enabled and shifting occurs so you will be having shifting of of data when during the positive trigger rising edge of the clock rising edge of clock similarly when shift is equal to 0 clock will be disabled there will be no shifting okay no shifting it will remain in the same state the data remains unchanged data will be unchanged okay now what will be your case 2 case 2 if i take if i am applying the serial in serial input will be given to your d3 at the same time what happens at the same time shifting occurs that is q3 will be shifted to d2 q2 will be shifted to d1 and q1 will be shifted to d not okay so this will be your general concept so now let us assume uh, let us take one example okay let us assume that the initial value of the register is equal to so initial value is equal to 0 1 0 and your serial input what i am going to give is in the order 1 1 0 1 so if this is a condition how will your how will you get your timing diagram so first initially you will be having a clock signal right so this will be your let me assume that this is your clock signal so clock is activated during the rising edge so clock signal and next you will be giving the input next graph will be your input data or your serial in so what is your serial in 1 1 0 so it will be 1 1 0 1 okay now what will be the outputs q3 q2 q1 and q not 
this will be your output so the trigger will be it is activated during the rising edge right clock during the rising edge of the clock so here also it is rising edge rising edge rising edge it goes on so what is the initial condition initial state of the uh, register 0 1 0 1 so q3 is equal to 0 1 0 1 so this will be in 0 this will be in 1 this will be in 0 this will be in 1 so this will be your initial register content so now shifting occurs during the first clock pulse what happens during the rising edge this one will be input first data will be shifted to your d3 and you, you will be getting the output so this will be one one will be shifted so here you will be getting the data one q3 will be shifted to q2 zero will be shifting now it gets zero one will be shifting here so this will become one this zero will be shifting here it will be zero during the second clock pulse what happens the second data enters right so one will be shifted here so it will be remaining in one one will be shifted here so it will change the state to one zero will be shifted here again there will be changing the state and this previous value one will be shifted so this will be your shifted data during the next clock pulse what happens the third data enters so it will become zero okay now the previous data it will be remaining in one this one will be shifted here so it will be changing here this zero will be shifted here right so during the fourth next clock pulse what happens so this is one two three four during the fourth clock pulse here it is one right data is one so this one will be shifted here zero will be shifted to the next case previous one will be shifted here so it will be having value as one then this one will be shifted here so q naught so this will be your values okay shifted data so this will be your timing sequence so this is your ideal case for practical case what happens due to the propagation delay, uh, delay if this is your input signal clock signal there will be small delay and the output you will be getting after the clock signal so this will be your due to your propagation delay in your practical case so this is your design of your 4 bit CISO register so this is your diagram and this is your timing diagram okay so input uh, your initial value is 0 1 0 1 and your serial input is 1 1 0 1 okay 1 1 0 1 so this is your corresponding output what you are getting